My name is Kevin and my son, uh, the patient here at Stem Cell Institute is uh, Jonathan. We found out uh, at an early age uh, that our son Jonathan was diagnosed with uh, cerebral palsy uh, stage 4, uh, which would have been uh, non-verbal, um, wheelchair bound, cognitive uh, issues where um, there was a bit of an autistic side to him and, and obviously uh, not being able to walk. Um, we tried quite a few different things, uh, therapy, physio, that was, uh, you know, to try and make him walk, stand, these kind of things. So that being said, led us to the research online and with doctors and questions to um, come to the Stem Cell Institute to seek uh, further um, uh, treatment. And then yes, we're here for our second treatment. Day-to-day -day activities with Jonathan is full-time, full-time caregiving, full-time care. What we noticed some months after is that Jonathan became controllable. He started to show symptoms where he was attentive or he was listening and he was somewhat understanding everything you would try to tell him to do or not do. And he would control himself and he would calm down um, and, and show improvements. He also even, uh, as a plus, as a, as a CP kid, um, showed signs of better bowel movements um, to, to a normal level that maybe wasn't there before. These are a, a big plus for us as, as a family. It also helps for other individuals, caregivers and so forth. Um, when we're not around that, uh, it pretty much uh, provides or acts as a bonus. Um, and, and the small things and, and anything that, that we're able to work with him since then is a plus. He tends to respond and he responds to what we ask or what we say um, in any terms. And he listens. If, if there is certain outbursts at times and you tell him to calm down or you tell him to, you know, try and, and relax. For example, the first flight here was much more medicated than the second flight, which we rarely did anything. He, he put his hand together like this and he came down on the flight and uh, it was pretty straightforward and, and, and calm for us. Well, we always look at it in, in a perspective that any gain, once it's a comfortable environment you're in, I would always say to try the best for your child. Try the best where there might be an improvement you know, the hope is always there for the best. It's always for you as a parent and the responsibility to, to give them a fighting or a chance. As there are times we may or may not be around, and this is what we really want to do for our kids, so that when we're not there, things are easier for the other people, for, for others, right? And for them. Stem cell treatment it's not a get up and run cure. It's not a get up and go cure. It's something that we, we try and we know and we believe that the expectations are there for that purpose. For us, as I said, the changes we got so, 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 so far, it, it works to what we, we, we're happy to, to get. Um, and yes, uh, once again, we hope for the best. <laughs>